Hey there guys, Neil here, back with an Android app review. So for this particular review, I wanted to review an app called Mirror Mirror. It's part of the unreleased apps in the Google Play Store because it's a brand new app, it's still under development, but it's gotten far enough along where it can be used by the public. So the purpose of the app is to provide the information that you see here um, without needing too many other things going on and just have it at a glance. So essentially, when you load the app, it'll give you the um, date and time. It'll detect your device's location and give you the current uh, weather conditions, so the current temp, condition, high and low for the day, wind speed, and a written description of the weather condition. Um, the app also lets you pick or will also let you show calendar, upcoming calendar events or news sources. So if you want to see that, you can do that. Um, so touching the screen and touching the gear menu or the gear button will take you into the settings menu Which is pretty straightforward. It gives you a card layout So if you want to center everything you can toggle that as you saw or if you turn it off It'll be left justified at the moment You do need to exit and restart the app if you want to adjust the left left justify or center justify For the date and time you can show or not show the clock or enable and disable the 24-hour format for the weather You can see it or not see the weather and then toggle Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, for the weather, you will need to give the app your location or allow access to your location. And unless, along those same lines, for the calendar, you'll also need to provide access to your calendar so you can see those upcoming events. Um, for headlines, if you want to see that, you can pick from a um, number of uh, different sources that are preloaded into the app. So you have things, services like BBC, CNBC, CNN, ESPN, Reddit, Reuters, Washington Post, and whichever one you pick will automatically uh, refresh periodically. And as you can see here, um, coming a uh, uh, feature that's coming soon is voice control via Google Home or Amazon Echo. So we'll see how that's integrated. Um, and as because it's an unreleased app, it may be unstable. But for me, I found that it's been pretty good as far as stability. The refresh on the weather and the news has been kind of iffy. That's the only time that I've seen any concern that because the news doesn't really refresh often but i guess that also depends on the source and same thing with the weather depends on access to the internet but overall it's a very stable app um as far as i know it keeps the screen on um regardless of your device's security settings but um to kind of get around that what i've done is i've also installed an app android app called tasker so when you open that up, I created a profile for Mirror Mirror. So uh, when um, the, this particular and specific app is open, I select the app. Um, it'll keep the screen on. I just set the d display timeout to max, and it's only for when this app is open. So when I exit the app, my um, default uh, screen timeout and security options come into play. So that way um, the screen doesn't turn off when Mirror Mirror is open. And... Um, I don't have to worry about security or if I'm leaving and I want to turn the screen off, I can lock it and I'm good to go. So that's all there is for this particular app and the slight sub app review as well with Tasker. But the app itself is Mirror Mirror. It's available for free at the moment in Google Play. Um, definitely worth checking out. I recommend it if you want an app that just shows in big, um, easy to read lettering the date, time, weather, and headlines or calendar events um definitely worth checking out i like it and the contract it uses the black and white color scheme so it uses uh, less power i haven't seen any major effect on my battery or any more effect than as if the um compared to if the app was not running so it's definitely a low footprint on your device as well so that's all there is for that so if you have any questions comments or anything like that you can find me on uh, Twitter at Patel N01 and you can find this vi uh, video review on YouTube at youtube.com slash Patel N01 and of course all links um, can be found on the website at Patel N01.com but that's all there is for this particular review thanks for watching and listening and until next time